now, Cap Cave View First Alert Weather with Jeff Jacobs. Can you believe it? We're already almost to Labor Day weekend. Hopefully you had a great Thursday out there. A sunny one, but a smoky one in some areas. Checking out our Legend Sky Cam Network over Richland there for a moment. Now we're looking over Yakima. It's starting to catch up with the haze of the smoke. Kind of where we were this same time yesterday over Yakima with uh, limited visibility happening uh, around the areas of Yakima and the uh, lower Yakima Valley as well. As we're looking at temperatures around the area right now, it's another warm one, right? We've been in the 90s several days here for the beginning of September. 95 Tri-Cities, 92 in Yakima, those mid-90s, really the current temperature. We do have some upper 80s that are happening as well. If we look here at the foothills of the Blues around Dayton and uh, Prescott, the temperatures there as well. Wind speeds out there is not too bad at all compared to what we had yesterday. Now, yesterday there was some concern with the fact that we had some higher winds being reported up in Ellensburg, but tonight, not really the uh, situation, which is great news for the firefighters out there working the uh, Natchez fire, uh, in the, the fire there in the Natchez area, and the conditions uh, really being stable across the whole region. Our current radar, clear skies from the coast all the way inward to the Pacific Northwest, clear skies, and those are going to be sticking around for quite a while more. We have more of that coming up here in just a few minutes on our extended forecast as we look into the weekend as well as into next week. Air quality, though, that has diminished since uh, yesterday. It's gotten a little bit worse in the way of a uh, top -ish. That is definitely up here as we're getting to the unhealthy area. If you have any uh, respiratory situations or ailments, you want to stay inside in that moderate area as well as you see the red zone there. Stay inside and stay outside of the uh, the smoke that's still lying in. Again, that's Yakima and the lower Yakima Valley. So the week ahead, what are we gonna be looking at in the way of temperatures as we just even move into our future cast? We're seeing clear skies as we move through Friday, as well as Saturday and the weekend. Uh, of course, might still deal with the smoke, but clear skies, but cooler temperatures on the way. Tonight, we're looking at lows 63 in the Tri-City, 61 in Yakima. That's the story around the area in the way of temperatures this evening. Tomorrow, it's going to be the hottest day of the week, and it might be the last hot day of the year. 100 degrees is kind of the story tomorrow. 99 Tri-Cities expected high, 98 in Yakima. 70 forecast Tri-Cities, 99 tomorrow. Then over the weekend, 96 down to 95. And look at that on your Labor Day and the beginning of next week in the 80s with overnight lows in the mid-60s. Yakima, 98 tomorrow. And we're looking at 96 to 93 for the weekend. And then another story there with those 80s the beginning of next week, overnight lows in the mid-60s to lower 50s by next week. So tonight, look for a warmer evening, overnight lows in the mid-60s. Tomorrow, it's going to be the hot day with highs near 100 degrees. Jason.